Hi everybody and welcome. This is Steve from Open Bomb. In today's video we are going to uh, create a bill of material using Open Bomb for Autodesk Fusion 360. Now in this video we're going to start at the beginning. We're going to download, install, configure, create an account, create a bill of material, and finally wrap it up by putting a uh, putting a nice bill of material on the face of an Autodesk Fusion 360 drawing. So let's get started. I'm, I'm going to start by finding the Autodesk uh, App Store page for Open Bomb, and I can do a quick Google search of that. And once I'm here, I'm going to sign in with my Autodesk account, and I'm going to go ahead and download the, uh, the Fusion add-in. So I'm going to let you do that. You know, down, click download, follow the prompts, install, and then go ahead and, and start Fusion. You're going to want to install this with Fusion not running. Once you finish the installation, go ahead and start Fusion. And when you start Fusion, the add-in should automatically be enabled. If it is not, go to your add-ins area, add-ins, find the open bomb add-in, and simply click run. Okay. So once we do that, you'll you'll and open an, a Fusion assembly. You'll be greeted with the open bomb menu up here at the top. The um, the first step is to start here in, uh, in OpenBOM and create an account if you don't have one already. So click the OpenBOM icon, click create an account, and we're going to go through right now and create a new account. I'm going to create a new Fusion account. information, select Fusion as my CAD system, and provide a smart password. Okay. And once I do so, I will be taken to the um, Open Bomb dashboard, and any bills of material that we create in Fusion will be visible in, in our dashboard. So good. So I've gone ahead and created my my account, and I have my credentials. I can return to Fusion and provide my username and password. You may receive a message that says that uh, OpenBOM CAD integrations require a professional level user subscription or above. So if you do, you've got two options. One is you can send email to support at openbomb.com and request a, uh, a free trial. Or second, you can just jump over to openbomb.com slash pricing and purchase a professional level or above, above subscription. So I'll let you uh, do whichever one of those are best for you. And once you have done that, return to this um, authentication window and provide your credentials. Okay, so very good. So once I've done that, I've, I've signed in and I'm gonna close that, close that window. We're going to create a multi-level bill of material. So let's click on M and create a multi-level build material for this differential. So the OpenBOM add-in goes through and extracts all the metadata from the part properties, as well as uh, any assembly structure that exists in your design and quickly displays a build material. And we can see here that it does have a structure. Here our tailstock housing shows it has some a diff plate and some other input shafts and things uh, below it. So, very good. So that's it. We have created our first bill of materials in OpenBomb. Now I can cl click the dashboard button here and jump out to uh, jump out to OpenBomb where I can edit this bill of material. You may be asked to sign in again, of course. This, the signing credential are cached once you sign in. So we can edit this bill of material and do, do additional things here and make additional changes, which will also be visible back in, in Fusion. 
So next, I'd like to, sh to show you uh, uh, kind of one of the cool features, uh, new features of Open Bomb. It's the ability to put this bomb now back on the face of a drawing. So I've used uh, Autodesk drawing command to create a drawing for my differential housing. I have thrown a couple of views on there, used some of the other drawing annotations, created a section view, and done some other things. I've also used, under the, uh, the settings option, I've created a template for my drawing, and I'll, I'll let you dive a little deeper into the template manager. But you can see that using the template manager here, I, I've specified what properties I want to appear in this build material on my drawing. So that's template called Drawing 1400. Okay, so we've gone ahead and set Drawing 1400 as my drawing template. I'm going to use the Locate button here to choose the build material that I want to put on the face of my drawing. I happen to know that it's this multi-level one that we just created. Yep, that's it. Okay, and I'm going to use the Insert Open Bomb on Drawing command and choose that build material. Go ahead and place that right there on the drawing. Okay, fantastic. So now we have a, a fusion drawing with an open bomb build material on, on here. It's fully qualified uh, fusion uh, uh, table on the face of the drawing. So uh, I want to wrap it up here and summarize what we did. We started at the Autodesk App Store, found the Open Bomb page, downloaded and installed the add-in. We started Fusion, opened an assembly, Use the, uh, clicked on the locate button here, provided our credentials, created an uh, open bomb account. Of course, we only need to do that one time. We were sure we either had a trial or a uh, purchased professional level or above subscription. We use the multi-level bomb here to uh, create a multi-level bill of material, which is visible either inside of Fusion or in the browser, in the OpenBomb browser. And then finally, we created a drawing inside Fusion, use the uh, settings, and the template manager to specify the drawing template. We use the template manager to, to identify which properties we want on the drawing. And then finally, we use the insert OpenBomb command in the drawing to go ahead and place that bill material on the face of the drawing. So I hope you find, found that helpful. Uh, you can always reach us at support at openbomb.com. Thank you.